Sorry from Meghalaya now, a total of 838 samples from the state have been tested so far, of which 714 are negative and results of 113 are awaited. And this was informed by Meghalaya Chief Minister Conrad Sangma. The number of active cases in the state continue to be 10. Sangma informed even as he stated that all 10 patients are stable. The Meghalaya Chief Minister added that his government has also started the distribution of financial assistance under the Chief Minister's special grant for individuals stranded in different parts of the country. The total samples collected is 838 and the total number of cases tested negative is 714. We have another 113 cases uh, where we're waiting and uh, 10 active uh, cases as of now and we are also uh, all the 10 active cases as of now are stable and uh, they are all quarantined and uh, at the same time I would also like to inform you that uh, apart from other programs which uh, I have spoken about in my previous briefings uh, we have also started the distribution uh, of financial assistance under the CM's special grant for individuals stranded in different parts of the country. Uh, for this purpose, uh, we are categorizing and uh, there are different categories of workers, students, professionals and others and therefore we have selected the workers group first and uh, as we speak, the money for uh, supporting them, that is a lump sum amount of 3000 rupees. Um, is being given to 1,617 uh, people stranded in different parts of the country. And he also informed that the state has uh, procured uh, 25 more ambulances for effective delivery of the health system. Uh, we decided that uh, we will be giving uh, the money of the Chief Minister's Relief Fund for procurement of 25 ambulances. Uh, apart from that, uh, some people have also raised concern about um, you know the drivers who are delivering the different essential commodities are they being screened and tested uh, yes friends uh, to inform you we are doing that we are screening them we are testing them and we are also disinfecting the trucks and the vehicles that are coming in and uh, that is also one of the reasons why sometimes there is delay uh, in the transportation of products because these processes and protocols have to be followed uh, and well, as Sangma also informed that drivers and workers delivering essential services are also being screened and tested. Besides, vehicles used are also being disinfected at regular intervals. Uh, friends, also I would like to uh, request our locality headmans and also the parents um, and elders in the house that uh, two, three things I think is very important we need to do as a society. Number one, I think uh, we are seeing that during this period of lockdown, a lot of children are coming out and playing. Um, and I think in that... Uh, secondly, I would also request that uh, uh, the virus as such is something that we have seen uh, throughout the world, affects the elderly more. And therefore, I would urge that uh, if our elderly, our senior citizens, uh, if they could refrain from going out, and they could keep themselves safe because uh, this virus is something that we have seen throughout the world affects the elderly more. So I would urge our elderly and our senior citizens to refrain from going out as far as possible. And Sangma also informed that uh, adequate steps are being taken to ensure the needs of uh, migrant labourers are taken care of, especially in uh, mining areas. Uh, friends, there were also some issues about uh, our, the labourers from different parts of the country which are, who are um, in the state, stuck in the state. Some concerns about, uh, you know, who is supposed to take care of them. Uh, well, it's uh, very clear that every state government in every part of the country is supposed to take care of all migrant labourers. So like uh, it's being done in other parts of the state, of the country, uh, even the Meghalaya government has been supporting and taking care and providing shelter to all migrant laborers who have come here from different parts of uh, the country. And uh, there were also concerns about the mining areas. Uh, um, and I think uh, some suggestions came in that there should be some relief camps set up in those mining areas also, for, because a lot of laborers are there. Friends, that also has been done in most of the mining areas. 
And uh, in case there are any areas that are left out, I will once again uh, check on